Jared Poland, Frono's Photo. Dot com and have you ever wondered how do you get that cinematic look when you're shooting videos or what is the difference between shutter speed for photos versus shutter speed for video? Well, I'm about to give you a free preview from the Fronos Photo Guide to DSLR video that's gonna show you exactly how to get that cinematic feel with your videos and help you understand how shutter speed works in, as it pertains to when you're doing video. But before I do that, if you've been looking to pick up the Fronos Photo Guide to DSLR video, we are doing a sale right now that ends on August 13th. The link is up on the screen right now and the code to get 24% off, that's right, 24% off the already discounted price is shoot video. All one word, lowercase. Use the link down below or up on the screen and you can save 24% right now. But right now, I'm going to give you the free preview, so enjoy that. So now let's jump into shutter speed. Now, it's a little different with video than it is with stills. There's a lot of rules of thumb that apply to both, but what we wanna do here is demonstrate what's gonna happen as we change the shutter speeds. So Todd's gonna to talk to us about the general rules of thumb. Your shutter speed is directly tied into your frame rate. We generally stay around 24 frames per second for that cinematic, that movie-like look. Now the shutter speed is directly attached to that. You wanna be double your frame rate in your shutter speed, and that helps to retain that motion blur, that movie-like image quality that we all like. So if we're at 24 frames per second, ideally we'd wanna be at 1 48th of a second. We don't have that option in this camera. What we can do though is be at 1 50th of a second to get that same effect. Sure, and the same thing applies when you're at 30 frames a second. You would double that to 1 60th of a second on your shutter speed, and then when you go to 60 frames a second, you would double that to 1 20th of a second. Again, these are rules of thumb. So what are we gonna do here to demonstrate? We're gonna stick with that cinematic movie-like look. So 24 frames per second is where we're going to live on all these examples. The only thing we're gonna change is the shutter speed. So let's start off with this 1 50th of a second and see what that looks like. What we're gonna do here is show you how shutter speed affects what's going on in the image. We're gonna use a metronome so we have something that's constant and moving. We've already locked in the settings for the camera because all we're focusing in on right here is what's gonna happen when we change the shutter speed. All right, let's see what happens with this uh, metronome as an example. All right, and we're rolling and action. Now this is a very pleasing image. This is that cinematic look we were talking about. Great place to be. This looks all right. What's gonna happen if we slow it down to a 30th of a second? Let's see what it looks like. So we're down to 1 30th and we're recording. Now what's gonna happen here is we're just picking up more of that motion blur. Not a terrible thing, but it's definitely something to be aware of if you push it down that far. Right, so again, with photography, as you slow the shutter speed down, things blur more. As you raise the shutter speed, it kind of makes them crispy and freezes them more. Now I noticed this when I used to do videos out in my backyard and I'd have butterflies going by at a thousandth of a second. They wouldn't be smooth and buttery in the background. They'd be jittery and choppy. So we've done a 50th of a second, we've done the 30th, where are we going to go next? Let's go up to 2 50th of a second. So as you can see here, that motion blur has decreased significantly. And, and we're getting a jittery look to it. It's, it's a very uh, crisp look, almost video-like. Not terrible, definitely an option if stylistically that's what you're looking for, but it's not that cinematic look that people are used to. Right, and that's when you're going for a cinematic look. Again, these are just rules that you don't have to follow, but there's a reason why they are rules. But remember, rules can be broken. This is for you to see the cause and effect of what's going on and decide for yourself what works for you. We're at 250th, where are we going to next? Let's go up to 1,000. And here at 1,000, the jitter's way more pronounced, what people might call staccato. It's, it's very jittery, um, very jumpy. It's that Saving Private Ryan, storm in the beach type of look. It's not a terrible thing, but just be aware that that's a stylistic choice you'd have to make. Sure, so I'm gonna stop this real quick. So what you saw there at a thousandth of a second was a very crisp image. You could see the metronome going back and forth like it was freezing it. So depending on what your job is, what you're trying to capture, that may work. But the general rules of thumb are there for a reason. You wanna learn them, stick to some of them, and decide on what you wanna do when that situation arises. Is that right? Absolutely. All these things come down to your stylistic choice, what you choose to do from project to project and the look you're looking for and what the client wants as well. Sure, so as you saw there, the shutter speeds we went from 
fiftieth of a second to thirtieth of a second, and then worked our way up to the faster ones, two fiftieth and a thousand, just so that you could see what's going to happen. So you saw a bunch of different examples right here. Now, when we get into the field and show you what we're doing, we're gonna tell you what settings we're on so that you can see for yourself whether we like that slow shutter speed or we like that fast shutter speed, and it all depends on what we're shooting. So Todd, let's move on out. So there you have it. That is the preview. Isn't it interesting to see what shutter speed does as it pertains to video versus actual shutter speeds for when you're shooting photos? Pretty interesting stuff. So again, the sale ends on August 13th, which is Saturday at midnight. If you want to pick it up, go over to the link on the screen right now and use the code at checkout, shoot video, all one word, lowercase, to get 24% off the already discounted price. That means you're going to save another $23 on top of whatever you're already saving. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the free preview. Jared Poland, Photo.com. See ya.